everybody, this is Nicole with HelpMamaRemote.com and today I want to share with you a few of my planner thrift store finds within maybe this past, maybe two thrift store visits because I got um, maybe from a couple different thrift stores and along with my sneak peek of the week for this week, I'll be sharing with you my layout for this week. So let me go and share with you what I've picked up. Now this item I picked up from the Goodwill. Um, what was that Monday? My mom was over. She's been over. She was over for the week. So we went to the Goodwill. Now I've seen these at the Goodwill maybe a couple times I've been, but I didn't pick them up. And when I saw hers, I was like, oh, those are really cute. But they are these here. And they are um, five tab dividers. My husband was like, when I was like, oh, I didn't see those. Those are cute. My husband was like, oh, and they animal print too. Because you know, I love animal print. So I went back and got one. I had got two, but I had a coupon for $5 for the Goodwill. And I was trying to make sure I just stayed in that $5. I didn't want to come out of pocket with nothing. So these were $0.49. Cent, and I got a couple other items. They weren't um, planner related. I wanted to make sure I only spent, you know, $5. So these were $0.49. Cent. And this item, I think I picked up from Goodwill. Not this past visit, but another visit. And it's a planner. It's like a pink planner. It's um the planner that I have currently is um the Follow Facts Pink Pad and Domino. And this I like this because it's not patent leather pink, but nice spring summer planner. The holes are different. Let me see who is this by. It doesn't even have a name in it. Don't know who it's by, but it doesn't have the same holes as. I don't know, I didn't, well, you know what? It has to have the same holes as my Philo Facts. I mean, not my Philo Facts. The same holes as my Franklin Covey. Because I took these inserts out of my Franklin Covey and they fit. And these are some of the Martha Martha Stewart inserts. Um, picked up a few years ago. So I just took these out to Franklin Covey and they fit in here. Here's some little pocket dividers I made a while ago. I just covered some old dividers that I had with craft paper that were, you know, worn. So I used those here. So that's all I have in here so far. I haven't found any, um, like, calendar inserts. And I can't use my Happy Planner inserts in them because I punched them all for the year. So I haven't decided on what I'll, you know, be using these for. But when I get some more calendar inserts I'll just swap them out and use this but this was a really good find I want to say probably $2.99 no more than $2.99 because I'm cheap I don't spend more than certain things oh here's another one this is just a pad folio and this is a Franklin Kobe pad folio and I'm so upset I had a a Franklin Kobe like um tote bag and I think I donated it when I was getting rid of a lot of purses and um, I'm, like, I'm like mad about it now. Because it has so many different pockets and compartments to um, store things. And it would have been a great Bible study bag. And unless it's with my other purses, my summer purses, which I don't think so, I did get rid of it. I'm really mad about that. But anyway, it was red too. So that's what made me think of it. But this is a Franklin Kobe pad folio, and I love pad folios. They always come in handy when you're in meetings. You, you know, have some meetings, you want to put a pad in here, you want to jot down notes. So I just have this. I just have some post-it notes in it now. And then you just put a little um, pad in it. And this was $1. So that was, like, a good find. The next one is this here. Now, this is... Um, let me see who is it by. Does it have a name on it? I want to say Daytimer because of the clock. But um, I got this from, I believe it was the Salvation Army. And I took the tag off. And trust me, it was probably like $2.99, $3.99. But first I found this. And it was the binder. And it's the whole old inserts. So I was like, ooh, you know, really good. And it had, look at all the... These were these are all in here already. Everything that's in here was in here already. All these fillers. Um, let's see. Just like some information fillers, carpool groups, 
uh, child care information. Let me see how many sheets of each is in here. Just a lot of sheets of each is in here. This child care information still. Um, anniversary gift list, gift ideas, party planner insert list, uh, gift expense record. Here's um oh and the gift expense record is an envelope too. Um then these are films. I don't know why would um I'll be keeping up with films, but it has like the title, actor, actresses, and contact information. Music, title, artist, style of music. I mean these will be good for like blogging if you're doing reviews or something. Maybe you want to keep track with something like that. Magazine articles, issues, maybe if you want to keep up with that. Maybe say for instance like gardening if i have um there's a tip or something that i like i could keep you know contact track um keep up with you know that information just some ideas because i don't see any other reason um games quotes for the quotes you could use like scriptures or something then it had these envelopes in here these are the type of envelopes i covered um, that were that I just showed you in that other planner, and I just covered them with craft paper. Those spiders. Here's some stickers. Um, and here are like some goal sheets, action plan sheets, expense summary. Um, background details. Just a lot of supply pack to do to be done and then all here are to-do list to-do list all these are to-do list things don't forget to-do list to-do list just a whole bunch of to-do list to-do list diet tracker they even have a menu planner back here so all of these were in this binder and they're great because i have a lot of the mini binders like these that I and I pick up majorities from the thrift store. Um, yeah, all of them from from the thrift store. When I take out the guts, you know, like if it's the years up, they could fill in here. I could take some of these out of here and place in here. Um, so I got these great way to store any old planner inserts. And then, um, so like I say, this was by itself, and then. I was looking in that same area and found this. I said, oh, this must be the box that this goes into. And it just slides in there nice and neat. And it has a little pull tab. So some great little planner finds from the thrift store. So make sure when you, if you're checking out your thrift stores, look for in their like stationary area. Because I found really nice things you know, in those areas for planning at really good deals. That was my little planner thrift store haul. Like I said, a couple trips and I just put them to the side, share that with you. So now I'm going to share with you my sneak peek. This is of my the sneak week. peek of the week. And okay, so we're in April the 25th through the 1st and I used some scrap paper. Um, This is the paper that I picked up from Target Dollar Spot. I believe that was like last spring. And, um, you know, just like paper pieced it here. I tore this because I wanted like a rough edge. I added some little squares in here. Added my, you know, banner. You know how I love my banners. I added paper here on the side as well. And then I just have my um, stickers that I created with my silhouette cameo. Um, the prayer worship and the word. That's my morning prayer time. Um, my morning routine. I need to make some more morning routines. So that's why I just have the one over there. Then my nighttime routine here. Um, and I use these here. These red flags I made with the Cameo 2. For my um, any bills. So in red when I see this I know there's a bill that needs to be paid. Um, what else? That's it. I do need to make some more of these because I don't have any for Bible study. Um, and that's pretty much it. So hopefully this week I can sit down and make some more stickers. Um, make some up for about a couple months or so. Um, so that's it. Let me just go and share with you all. Um, this was last week. This was the week before, and I wanted to use this with this week's layout, but um, I didn't look for one 
think I have some already cut out, but these were in that um, paper pack too that I said I got from Target, and it looks like a seed packet. And what I did was just cut it, and you know wherever the lines were on the calendar. So I really love doing that. So I didn't. I wanted to do some one this week, but maybe I'll do it on a Plan with Me video. Um, this little chalk sticker that came from um, Target Dollar Spot last year too. This was the week before that. And then this was the week before that. And you see I did that. The seed packet looked there too. Wait, did I do it on this one? No, I did it right here too. So this is my layout. And you know I don't do the, um, I don't decorate my monthly layout because it's so busy. And um, I like to use the monthly layout to um, put like events or dates that I have coming up, you know, when I haven't decorated that week yet, you know, so I leave that for my monthly layout. Everything I need to do, I put on my monthly layout and then transfer it over to my week. So um, that's pretty much it for my um, sneak peek of the week for this coming week. And this is what I will be using. Um, now, you all remember... Maybe last month, I picked up one of those boho um, string journal planners from Michaels. I wasn't liking it. I used it for over a month, about a month or so. Working with it, I didn't like it. It was really flimsy. I didn't like how the books um, set inside. Now, I don't know if the more expensive ones have the same feel. Cause, because when I see the more expensive ones, they look quality. They look like they you know, aren't flimsy and things like that. So I gave that one to my daughter. And these this is one of the little planners I get. You know, like I say, I love to find little planners at the thrift store for a couple dollars. Um, and I'm using this for my personal, um, to carry in my purse, the same way I wanted to use the little boho string um, journal planner. Um, so, you know, like for to-do list goals and things that I want to focus on when I'm running out, just something to carry in my purse to keep with me. Um, that's what I wanted that for. So this is what I'll be using. And like I said, I can transfer it out because I have quite a few. If I want to use a different color, I could use that. And in here will just be more so um, like cards. Like, like say um, the dentist card, orthodontist card, doctor card. Maybe like cards I get from the store. If I'm, I have like a little um, punch card, if I'm trying to get a discount or something like that. These will be in here. Um, I won't use it as a wallet because I do love my money in my wallet. I love my cards in my wallet. You know, like those main cards in my wallet, insurance card and stuff like that. I love those in my wallet. Um, so I won't be having those in here. And so what I'll just be using it, like I say, as a pretty much if I need to um, put anything in here, um, to-do list, notes, put the little notepad in here. Also use this. I'm going to use this like for receipts um, to keep up with receipts until I transfer them to wherever they need to go. If they, you don't need them for taxes or anything like this. Expense summary. I'm not going to commit to this yet, but it will be good. You know, maybe like beauty supply, you know, or something like that. I may need this for. But right now, I'm not going to worry about that. But I did put this sheet in here, and these were all the sheets that was in that um um this right here. These were all the sheets that came in this. Okay, so um, what else? The menu plan. Now, the, the spaces are quite small, so um, I don't know how that will work out. But maybe I just need to jot some down. And on the back of it, it does have, like, um, notes and shopping list. Then I have notes in the back here. So that's what I'll be doing with that. And I hopefully I can share that with you all next week when I have everything um, completely set up and it's looking a little cute <laughs> so that's what I have for there and then like I say my sneak peek of the week and I'd like to thank you again for watching thanks for checking out my sneak peek of the week and don't forget to check out your thrift stores to see for any if you can find some things for your planner there at a you know more reasonable rate all right talk to you later bye bye